Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 79, and today is gonna be another public service announcement. I know you're probably sick of public service announcements by now. I think about a month, no, not even a month ago, like a couple weeks ago, I gave a public service announcement about protecting your hearing for the 4th of July holiday weekend. But you know what? The Phoenix Suns are actually playing in the NBA playoffs right now, and there were some reports that there were noise levels from all the cheering and music or whatever that exceeded 110 decibels. Now, just to give you an idea, I think it's a good opportunity to kind of educate you on decibels themselves. So anytime that you are measuring sound, you're gonna usually measure it in terms of a decibel. Now there are different scales of decibels, so you really wanna define what that scale is. Let's just say that it's uh, dBA of sound pressure level, right? So you have dBA, dBC, whatever. There's a bunch of different levels of them. Now, I don't know what scale they were using to measure the sound level inside of the arena out here, but they have reached such a level that you could not spend more than 15 minutes in that environment without risking getting hearing loss, which is crazy, I know. That's how loud it's getting at these venues. In fact, I've seen public venues uh, in the news get reported at like 130 decibels or more which is absolutely insane. Um, I think that's more like NFL stadiums. There's definitely a lot more people at NFL stadiums, but nonetheless, dangerous stuff. So please protect your hearing. Now, you might be wondering, well, um, how loud is 110 decibels in the case of the Phoenix Suns game? Well, when you start to look at decibels, it's important to understand that every time that you go up 10 decibels in volume, you're actually doubling the volume of something. And so if you go into an 85 decibel environment, you can spend eight hours in that environment without risking getting hearing damage. But depending on which standards you use, so if you're gonna look at OSHA or NIOSH, OSHA is every five decibels you increase above 85 decibels cuts the time in half that you can spend in that environment without risking hearing loss. And with NIOSH, I believe it's even a little bit more strict. It's every three decibels you go up, you cut that time in half. And so depending on which regulation you look at, when you start getting up to 110 decibels, you can spend 15 minutes or less in that particular environment before risking hearing damage. And I believe 110 decibels is the equivalent to like a chainsaw running and you're not wearing hearing protection. And that's just absolutely insane to me how loud that is. Now, you might not think it's like it's a big deal, but let me tell you this. The best way to treat hearing loss is to never have a hearing loss in the first place. And if you have children that you're taking to these sporting events, whether it's the Phoenix Suns game, whether it's a football game outdoors, whatever the case may be, you better be bringing hearing protection from them for them. So I have a couple of different types of hearing protection here. These right here are ear muffs that you obviously put over your head. These are great for children specifically, and actually they do sell children's models of over the ear uh, hearing protection. So you basically, you put it on them and you just leave it there for the entirety of the game because wouldn't you feel like a jerk if you gave your, hit, your kid hearing loss by taking them to a sporting event, right? Um, we're all used to having to protect our hearing or at least getting far enough away from fireworks that you don't damage your hearing, but we don't think about it when we go to these public events uh, in sporting arenas, things like that. But the other ones that are really, really good are these little foam hearing protectors. Now, a lot of people don't put foam hearing protectors in their ears correctly. You essentially have to roll it down, right, to make it really, really skinny so you can fit it inside of your ear canal. And then you actually have to straighten your ear canal. The way that you straighten your ear canal is you reach behind your head, you pull your ear back and out, and then you work that foam earplug deep down inside of your ear canal to where you have about three quarters of it past the opening of your canal. And then you hold it there. And yes, it's boring, but you hold it there so when it expands, it doesn't work its way out of your ear canal. And then once you have it in place, that is giving you a significant amount of protection. And if you do not have a hearing loss already, this will still allow you to have conversation with the people around you. So you're not really missing out. 
Now, if you don't like the plugged up feeling of having the foam plugs inside of your ears, you can get a filtered earplug that will protect you from the noise damage in these facilities, but still allows you to feel like you're unplugged and you can even have better conversation with the people around you. Those tend to be a little more pricey, okay? So you're gonna be spending anywhere from probably 30 to 50, maybe even $60 on a good pair of filtered generic plugs. If you go with a custom filtered plug, Plug, you're going to be spending significantly more than that. These guys right here, I think I got them on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll probably link them in the description of this video. The little foam inserts, they probably cost like 30 cents for a pair of these. Um, you probably have to buy them in a box that has a number of them in them, but the foam ones work really, really well. They're probably the most protective of everything that you have here, even more protective than these. Uh, these are just really convenient because if it starts getting loud, you put them on your head. If it's not loud, you kind of just hang it around your neck like that. But you know, don't think because you're going to just a sporting event where you're just gonna be cheering, don't think that that's not loud enough to cause hearing damage. It absolutely is loud enough to cause hearing damage and you need to be thinking about your ears whenever you go someplace. I have protection inside of my car at all times. So if I end up going into a concert or a sporting event, whatever, all I have to do is open up the glove compartment, grab out my hearing protection and go into the venue and then I don't have to worry about it. I mean, there have been weddings that I've been to that I'm like, holy cow, everybody in here needs to get their hearing tested as soon as this wedding's over. That's how loud it was at that wedding. Fortunately, I had my filtered earplugs, so by the time I left, I didn't have my ear, my ears were not ringing. I did not feel like I was underwater because my hair cells have been overstimulated for hours on end at noise levels that exceeded a chainsaw for crying out loud. But that's really, that's what I wanted to say today. I know that this is like, you probably didn't want to be lectured by me, but you know what, I don't care. You know, sometimes people need to hear this. And if one of you out there watching this video realizes, you know what, I should protect my hearing when I go to these noisy environments and then ultimately results in you not having hearing loss when you get older, then that is a huge, huge reason why uh, I wanted to make this video. So that is it for today, guys. Make sure that you go and get yourself some hearing protection. Keep it in a couple of different, you know, vehicles, you know, anywhere that you would need to keep it. So when you go out and you find yourself in a noisy environment, you've got it ready to use. All right. Okay. I've said enough about it. You can go on about your day. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I release a new video. But that being said, have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys next week.